let's get started with the gust factor analysis uh, in the old code basis yesterday we covered the new code part which is 2015 code today we'll cover the old code which is 1987 code there are two options first is within the range of yours you try to increase the depth up to a certain limit let's say 600 450 or whatever whatever is your main main beam depth because already on top of this there are a lot of uh, two more uh, you know simply supported is sitting so what we are trying to check it from here is whether the beam is well within the limit or not so as you can see that it is showing the values in green color so it is already okay so as you can see this is already showing in green color right so it is definitely passing now you need to check the minimum reinforcement of this beam as well whether this software is giving the minimum steel also or not what is the formula for minimum steel in a beam as per is 46 and this is the minor axis right so if i am taking it now here so this is the major axis which is m3 and this is the minor axis which is m2 now in this particular column what is this side the other side this side is what width side right and this is the length side so if you need to counter m2 your width needs to be more if you want to counter the m3 your depth should be more now if you are having square column like this, this column this is almost square column only in this case m2 and m3 both side the sizing is same okay so according to the value you need to change it once this etabs advanced session is over one week that gap you remember now nah? one week gap would be there after that there will be an exam no that is not required only na, to study how much part is because of lateral and how much part is because of gravity once you are having the entire combinations in your bucket you need to design for the critical one what is the critical one in this case udicon s32 is the critical one if i go to udicon s32 probably there will be 1.5 dead 1.5 life certain amount of earthquake ductility comes in why we are not going for detailing with the sway brittle detailing with sway it will not work only force comes it falls sway means you have to go also you need to come back here you can create the envelope or whatever the combination you know from the table let's say unicorn s25 so apply so this is the moment diagram so if you right click on this any beam will get the diagram here right so this is the analysis moment which you are getting 37.26 most of the time 99 percent time it will match with the design moment also because it's factored anyway design moment means inside the envelope whatever the moment you are getting from that table 